beautiful Azores this morning and we are um, looking to set sail to uh, Portugal uh, later today. That's 700 miles to go. Uh, probably going to take about six to seven days uh, non-stop. So we've got to go provisioning uh, this morning. Lovely boat. Um, going to try and create a video diary every day as we go. I'll try and do it on board. Uh, get bought in and then when people can see this at the end of the trip I'll uh, uh, upload it. As you can see in the Azores, um, in the marina here we have all the flags going all along the kind of uh, quayside. I think the tradition here is that when you land, uh, potentially on a cruise across the Atlantic or on the way to the Atlantic, you uh, get to uh, put in your um, perhaps flag or choice. There's a plane there, as you can see, nice and close. Uh, weather's not too bad. Uh, looks going to be a nice wind. Wind. Seeing the Azores high, as they say, is definitely above us. Uh, and this early morning kind of cloud will will blow away. Safe travels. Day one, or possibly day two, but 24 hours into our trip. Um, sailing most of the day, a little bit of uh, motoring. Everyone finding their uh, place on, on the boat, which is great. Um, seen dolphins, but didn't get a chance to uh, capture them on film. Uh, and seen Portuguese man of war. A uh, little jellyfish with a little very deadly kind of fin and sting uh, to them that kind of warns off predators, including humans. Um, been uh, not feeling great today, um, but maybe just finding my uh, sea legs or sea feet, as I described it before in the past, but you know, sea legs. Um, feeling much better now, having a bit of food and uh, some uh, sleep. So, continuing our course. Um, try and make a diary every day or try and remember to make a diary every day and we're hopefully aiming for Lagos in uh, Portugal in approximately five possibly six days time as you can see here we're in the middle of the Atlantic and we have a vessel called Mr Grey seen anything for at least a day or so and here we are hunting down Mr. Gray. So today, day two, well early hours of day three actually, I'm on night shift today. Um, wonderful day of sunshine, um, really calm conditions though so not great for sailing. Um, but one of these weird days where I didn't see any wildlife, didn't see any wind, saw plenty of sunshine uh, and we saw one ship all day so we're about 250 miles uh, from the Azure about uh, 600 miles to go um, and as you can see it's the deepest of nights um, we're well into our uh, shift patterns now everything's calmed down you know everyone is and certainly myself feeling a lot more human um, the swellers the swellers died down as well, which is great. Had a lovely, lovely dinner uh, cooked by the uh, by AK, which was a beautiful chicken and rice uh, dish. Uh, had pizza and salad for lunch, and 
and uh, as yet again eating really well on the boat. Plenty of biscuits, plenty of cups of tea and uh, getting really into my book which is a fascinating book and a true story about a guy who uh, ironically fell overboard and treaded water for 28 hours uh, and survived. Uh, it's a true story of his accounts and uh, I thoroughly recommend that um, called Alone. Okay, I'll um, leave you with the update and uh, we'll do one in the day tomorrow. Today is Sunday and uh, day three, possibly four, I kind of lost count actually, uh, kind of one day is blurring into two days, so that will be leave Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so day four, day four. Um, as you can see another very calm day, uh, engine on. So uh, enjoying the sunshine, but trying to do a bit of motor sailing. Um, touch wood, uneventful, um, true blue open water. Um, those that are interested, it's about four, possibly 5,000 meters deep here. So that probably equates to about three and a half, possibly four miles uh, deep, which is uh, a very, very long down. Literally have not seen a single ship at all today. Um, uh, I've not even seen a single bird and haven't even seen any kind of marine life whatsoever. So that's about as far away from land uh, as we possibly are. So I think we've done about 400 miles uh, so far and we have about four or five hundred miles uh, to go. So you could say we're very close to, to halfway. Uh, aim is to get there in the next probably three and a half days. So not much more to report and uh, I'll keep you updated as the days progress. Day five. Uh, today is Monday. Um, really good sailing day today. Um, lots of good wind coming from the north. Um, about 15 to pre 16 at time, 20 knots. So uh, we've been having fun uh, reefing, uh, but also full sails out. So uh, sailing and into our direction into Portugal. Uh, I've done about 600 miles. Um, have according to the chart plot uh, about 239 to the waypoint, um, which is just off St Vincent, and we have a TSS scheme there that we need to uh, navigate around, and then into uh, Lagos or Lagos, as I'm now being told uh, how it's uh, pronounced. Um, life on board, good. Uh, my turn to cook today, so uh, knock together a quick uh, chili con carne, as they say, uh, with rice. Amazing what you can cook on a boat. Uh, actually, really enjoyed it. So uh, starting to uh, you know put some uh, ingredients together, um, and everyone said they liked it, which is uh, great news. So two and a half days to go. Uh, could do with a shower. Could do with a shave. Um, looking forward to looking forward to that, but also as you can see, the sun is out, and uh, it's great to actually do some blue water sailing.
Tuesday today. Um, I've forgotten what day it is, day six, something like that, maybe day seven. Um, as you can see, I'm having to hold on because uh, we've got some strong winds, uh, 20 plus kind of knots. Um, so the boat is rolling around in the uh, Atlantic swell. Um, good news is we've got about 100 miles to go to our uh, waypoint just off um, Cap St. Vincent, uh, which is great. And uh, calling to the plotter, we should be there in about 16 hours, which means that tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, we should be able to get a mobile signal. So, uh, you know, catch up with a little bit of the information, the news that's just been going on. Uh, and most importantly, be able to phone home, having not spoken to Mrs. West or the kids for at least six days. So, really looking forward to catching up with them. Hopefully, they're all okay. You know, miss them lots. Um, lots of time to think about family and friends whilst down the sea, and uh, you know, really want to get back uh, and see them. And you realise how much you miss the craziness of family life whilst out, out here all alone. Okay, that's it for today. I'll leave you, as you can see, the waves crashing over and the, uh, the sun is out. It's a bit of a rolling ride and uh, don't want to drop my phone overboard.